The feel of this movie overall would be Moonrise Kingdom meets Best in Show. The last cards I drew were Beekeeper, Secret Meeting, Person Has Forgotten an Important Word, and Wigs. Let's get into it. My name is Samantha Christiane, and welcome back to my Storymatic Writing Series. I came up with a Wes Anderson movie about a revolution in America led by beekeepers. And this is what I came up with. Paul Johnson is a legendary beekeeper who would ideally be played by Brian Cranston. Paul Johnson will not ship his bee colonies off to California this year to pollinate the monocultured almonds. Instead, he and his wife Elizabeth, who would ideally be played by Frances McDormand, are taking a stand and starting a bee beekeepers revolution across America so the population can start giving bees the respect they deserve. Abigail Strong, played by Jillian Bell, is an ambitious journalist in New York City. She has given her first real shot at hardcore journalism with the offer to infiltrate the beekeeper movement by attending their secret meeting in North Dakota. Unfortunately, her editor at the newspaper that she works at, Herbert Morales, played by Benicio del Toro, ideally wants his bratty, spoiled son, Troy, to go with her so he can learn the family business. Troy, played by Tony Rivalori, is rebellious, entitled, and has never experienced the countryside. In fact, he's never been outside of New York City. To make matters worse, in order to enter the secret meeting, they must pass two different tests. They must enter the meeting sporting a beehive wig, then also give the secret word of entry in order to gain access. The editor, Hubert, knowing that Abigail might not delegate responsibilities to his son Troy, has tasked him with the most important responsibility of all, remembering the secret word to gain entry. When the moment comes down to it, they are wearing their beehive wigs, but Troy has forgotten the important word, having never placed much importance on it to begin with, and the entire mission becomes compromised. They are kicked out and labeled as intruders. Abigail is absolutely crestfallen. This was her one shot. She was made to cover this story. She leaves Troy at their hotel and flees to the nearest bar. At the bar, she meets a sad but sweet man named Matthew, who would ideally be played by Owen wow. Wilson. Matthew claims to be a once famous documentary filmmaker. They drink together, have long chats, and eventually go back to his house. Wow. Morning arrives and chaos ensues. It turns out Matthew is the younger brother of Elizabeth Johnson, the beekeeper. Abigail is ecstatic. She found a new way in. The job is back on. This is her chance at journalism. Matthew tells Paul and Elizabeth that Abigail should come along on their journey to interview them while he films it. Together, they can make a documentary so that the masses know why they are losing their almond blossoms this year and how we need to protect our pollinators. Paul and Elizabeth reluctantly agree. Abigail must now kidnap Troy and take him with her because they are all shipping out along with their colonies of bees to a mysterious location where all of the beekeepers in North America are coming to strike. The title I came up with for this movie is Hive Mind, and ideally it would be made by Wes Anderson. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you next time.